Welcome to Girls Unfiltered. I'm Megan. I'm Emma. And welcome back to another episode. We've got Chloe on today. She's TikTok. No, she's the TikTok star. Project Chloe Project on Chloe. TikTok. Hello, <laughs> Chloe. <Stop. laughs> Hello. <laughs> so, uh, Chloe de- decided to turn herself into a human experiment um, and took two months, isn't it? Yeah, it's almost over now. Well, my eight weeks. Yeah, <laughs> to turn herself into the best version of her possible. So I'm going to play her like um, first TikTok clip explaining what Project Chloe is. And sorry, Chloe, if you cringe during this, I hate listening back to you, but um, it's not cringy. So let's play the clip. My name's Chloe, I'm 25, unemployed, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing with my life. I hate my body, my skin's a mess, and let's not even go there with my mental health. Enough is enough. I'm sick of complaining, and I just want to do everything I can to become the best version of me. Mind, body, and spirit. For the next eight weeks, I'm going to turn myself into a living experiment, trying everything and anything to make me feel amazing. I'm going to test many techniques that people claim to better your well-being, and feedback to you guys my results along the way. This will include magical detox drinks, beginner's manifestation techniques, beach body workouts, zen meditation, and a whole lot more. Follow along and watch this transformation. Welcome to Project Chloe. Hi, guys. I love it. I love your voice. I've listened to that so many times. <laughs> that it would be horrible. Did you? I'd say it would take me like 110 times to get it half as good. Yeah, your videos are so fresh. <laughs> Yeah. So that first one, um, my boyfriend actually did the editing for that one because he? he knows how to do all that kind of stuff. Mm. Um, but then every other video since then, I have done it myself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't even know why I did it. I just thought, oh, I'm going to do this. Ha ha ha. I didn't think anything of it. That's a good idea. Um, but like, I just thought if I put it on TikTok, at least there'll be like maybe 20 people will see it and at least they'll hold some accountability to me then. Mm. Um, and I, I didn't think anything would come of it. And then it didn't. Like the first day I posted it, nothing happened. The next day, nothing happened. And then I did like my first body, like the body video, like the weigh in. And again, nothing happened. The next day I was... I was just like at home and my TikTok notifications kept coming in. I was like, oh my God. I was like, I can't believe it. I've got like 200 followers. This is crazy. Mm. And then um, and I, I was like texting my friends. I was like, girls, I've got 400 followers. And then I, and then it got it kept going up. I was like, mom, I've got 2,000 followers. And kicked up like, oh my God, this is crazy. And then it just kept going up and up and up. I can't believe it. It's crazy. That's crazy though. Yeah. It's yeah. just like your videos were on the FYP or something. Uh, I think that first one must have got the first, maybe like the first five, but like my, they're not on there anymore. I think it's just going up to my followers at the moment. Mm. And now you've got like 70k followers. 60. 60. Oh, it's not even at 60. I've been at like so 50 50 by that. <laughs> 60. 59 with five for like a week and it keeps creeping up like a few followers a day. Yeah. When it gets to 60, I'm going to be like, Whoa! Yeah. You'll get there. You'll get there. Yeah. We're just- um, <laughs> But it's such a good idea. I love that it's gains traction and um, that like so many people are following your journey. Yeah. So it's been how long now? Eight, six weeks? Four weeks? So it's been seven weeks. Next Monday will be my last official day of like the eight week challenge. But obviously I'm not just going to, my friends were like, what are you going to do at the end of eight weeks? You're just going to like delete your account. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, I'm done now. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, no, I don't really know. I, don't, I probably won't finish that. I've kind of realised that eight weeks isn't enough time mm. to like become the best version of you. Yeah. But it's a good start, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Project Chloe part two. Mm-hmm. Or like maybe just like project life. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Just like Rion. better all the time, don't you? Yeah, exactly. Have you noticed any changes? Yeah, I think so. Like when I look at when I look back to the beginning compared to now, even though like eight seven weeks isn't that long, I feel like in a completely different headspace. Like I'm still unemployed. I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Um, my skin is still a mess, but um, I don't know. I just feel like I have a, a bit more clarity with yeah. life. If that makes sense. Like yeah. my like. I thought at the end of this eight weeks, I thought I'm going to do everything I can. Like my skin's going to be clear. And I know it sounds silly, but for me, the skin thing 
is the worst thing. Like I, I hate it. Like it really affects my whole day. Yeah, like I don't really leave the house. Like even putting makeup on looks shit because you've got all these bumps all over your face. Like I just, it just does my head in. So when sometimes I'll wake up and because my skin's bad, it'll just put me in a bad mood. And then mm-hmm. I'll just, the whole day will be bad. And then I'll just be stupid and bleh. So I'm still just trying to sort that out. Um, I actually went to like a spirit, it's, I haven't posted about this because it's quite random. I went to a mm-hmm. spiritual healing evening for my skin because I'm desperate. So this guy, he literally like gets into a meditative state and like sends out healing vibes oh <laughs> to God. everyone in the room. So now I'm like, my spiritual healing is working, it's working. So I'm just like waiting for my mm-hmm. skin to be clear now. But yeah, yeah we don't know, maybe, maybe that'll change. But I think once my skin is, I say uh, it's silly, but I think once my skin is clear, all my other problems will like, will go away yeah. yeah so excuse me if i sound naive but i've seen some of your videos but not all of them so what did you do to try and improve your skin other than so, that um other than that so mm-hmm. at the beginning so i've always had like i've my skin was never that bad and i started to have like a few hormonal spots a few years ago and i went on this pill for six months and they cleared up but I wasn't yeah. allowed to go back on it because it was like a high risk one. And then I always had a couple of spots, but it was never that bad. And at the beginning of lockdown, my skin was really good. And then all of a sudden, I just got, it's just got worse and worse and worse. It's just like horrible. So I bought, I bought all the CeraVe stuff, you know, like skincare by home, followed that, didn't work. I'm not, obviously, I'm not saying bad things about home because everyone loves it, yeah. but, yeah. Um, it didn't work for me um I've used like the niacinamide I've done um I've tried to like do no like like do nothing yeah, yeah, people, like, yeah, put yeah. On. I stretch it back and I have given things like a long enough chance to try but it's not working I even did like a like a it's called Dermatica it's like an online subscription where they send you like prescription stuff for your face mm-hmm. didn't work mm-hmm. um so now we wait. So I'm just I'm just waiting for the spiritual healing. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but I've tried everything else. No, I love <laughs> that. I I believe yeah. in all that stuff. Mm. You know, I mm. used to struggle really bad in my skin as well. And um over lockdown for me it got really bad. So I used the ordinary squalene or squalene. Oh my god, this is gonna get messed with me. Um squalene cleanser. I have that mm. as well, but so good. If yeah. I ever actually can, so I'm so bad. I should get on the back yeah. of my skin. Emma's so lucky. Her skin is flawless and she just uses But if I have like... two spots, I'm like, oh my God. Like, it still gets the oh. same. Do you get me? When I, I get when my, are like, my skin's so bad. I'm like, can you just shut the fuck yeah, up? I'm yeah, I'm sure it's so <laughs> annoying. <laughs> but I even get it though, because if I have like just a few, I'm like, oh, like I feel horrible about myself. Yeah, so it's weird. I would be up the walls if my skin was like, it's like my worst fear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, the main thing you put out there, isn't it? Like, it's the first thing people see exactly. when they look at you. And you just mm. think, oh my God, people are going to think I'm either dirty or I'm a crack addict or like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it just looks disgusting. Like, there are days when I wake up and I look like I've spent like the night down an alleyway shooting heroin. Like, I actually <laughs> that bad because my face is that fucked from all of the spots. Yeah. Sorry for swearing. I it's so bad done. because you, it's so hard to like cover it and hide it like it's your actual face. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You and then wear makeup the and more stuff, you cover it, the worse it gets. The worse. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I did, oh, I found it. a recipe that worked for me and it's just so simple. Yeah. <laughs> so it's that squaly and squally and cleanse or whatever the hell that is. Mm. Or whoever the hell you say it. Um, do that twice. And then mm. I got something called black African soap. And it's such a game changer. It like what it does, it's like just this try. big black bar of soap. And you, I got it on Amazon and it's meant to like neutralize the pH level in your skin. So like when I started putting it on, it was so stingy. And and um, now you put it on and it's grand, but I think that's because my pH level on my skin is balanced out. Oh right. Yeah. Well, and then after that because I'll, I'll I will. I'll send it to you. Yeah. Um it's cheap. Yeah, it's like six euro for like three bars. So yeah, but you just have to be careful to get the yeah, one with no. Yeah, exactly. Mm. Get the one with no like extra stuff added to it. So like you mm. have to know what one to get. Yeah. Um, Where did you see that? I saw it on. I think I saw it on. No, not TikTok. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no, I honestly, I think I saw it on Instagram or something. Oh, even, right. It just might have been Twitter. 
so random so somewhere random yeah. yeah so many different things out there aren't they and you just don't know what the hell is going to work and do you know how much money i've spent on oh. cheap cheap skincare that's supposed to be good like i feel like i can't spend any more money on stuff that's not going to work like yeah just, yeah yeah can't do it that. all adds up like so annoying yeah um, and then after that, I put on uh, the first aid kit, skin barrier repair. Because you might have a broken skin barrier. Like it might not even be acne, you might just have a broken skin barrier. I learned that on Instagram as well. I so, heard that as well. Yeah, and it works. I've seen their products as well. They look really first aid kit. Yeah. yeah. And it's just so simple. That's all. That's all I did. Do you get all your like, spots all around here? Yeah. Because mine, yeah, that's where all of mine are as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll give it a go. If it's, if it's cheap, I'll give it a go. Definitely. I'll do, send yeah. you all the links. Mm. You can report back and see if it works. And also yeah. I find like I saw that you're doing like those detox detox drinks as well in the morning. Yeah. So um people loads of people were kind of like negative about the detox drinks, like don't do them, they're really bad for you, blah 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 blah. So mm. I did my research and I just did one with loads of natural ingredients. So I thought this surely if it's all natural ingredients can't hurt you so I actually do this every morning it's disgusting so green tea um apple cider vinegar honey lemon juice turmeric cinnamon black pepper and cayenne pepper, Ew, all black pepper. pepper. I know but no it's that's not the bad bit it's like <laughs> no, 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 no. not any of them are drink though they're all horrible in a drink <laughs> and, and the apple cider vinegar together it like and it's warm yeah. as well, so like it hits you, and you have to like yeah. build up, build up the courage to drink it. So every morning I'm like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like before before I go to drink this drink, and it has like, I don't know why, but like, I think it's the pep, the cayenne pepper yeah. doesn't dissolve. You like drink it. Oh of yeah, it's so gross. <laughs> drink, drink, but all of those um, ingredients, like natural, like every single one of them has a health benefit. So if I just dab them together, surely that, that's got to be doing something good for me. Yeah, definitely. No, it's not going to do you any harm. Yeah, yeah. you're yeah. going to be so healthy. But yeah. So with those drinks, though, you know, like the lemon juice, sometimes that like brings acne out in your skin, but it gets worse before it gets better. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, it's, like, it's like a Regina George moment when she's like eating those bars. Like, yeah. like, Isn't this supposed to make me skinny? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's like, it's like, I was gonna say, fuck lemon juice. That's what I've been drinking. <laughs> yeah, I do know that uh, it gets worse before it gets better. So maybe that's what's gonna cause it at the moment. But yeah, I, I was like, saying, maybe it's purging. Yeah, that's. I think so. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> I kind of love Ooh. detox drinks. Oh, they, they make, make you feel pepper. Good. They make you like. I think you get used to them, and then you really? secretly start to like the taste. Oh. Chloe's like, no. <laughs> Maybe I should no, start. No. I really need to start. I remember when we were in um, Vegas, I was feeling so sick because obviously we've been going out so much and eating like only, only fast McDonald's food. And Panda Express. Yeah. 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 And ugh, the like air conditioning and everything in the room, it was just, I felt awful. My like, throat and everything. I'm blaming it on that. Probably the massive hangover as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It was, <laughs> yeah. I was feeling awful. And then um, there was like this like little like juice stand in our hotel oh, that you brought that. me to and you were like, nope, I'm, I'm going to sort you out now. And you brought me up mm -hmm. and got me some health drink with like all those kind of ingredients in it. And it was mm -hmm. wrong. But I honestly felt better. Like it yeah. really scared me. <laughs> yeah, it works. Yeah. It works. It really does. Yeah. Even if it was like a little placebo, but it definitely worked. Yeah. Mm. Well, I wish I could afford to have like um, a personal chef just like bring me loads of healthy yeah. Like mm -hmm. drink food, so I didn't have to think about what goes in it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Eating healthy is such a hassle. Oh, isn't, isn't it? it? Commitment. Because mm. like it's you so like you have to really think about what you're gonna cook to make it tasty. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, like so, I'm so boring. I'm just eat like chicken and rice and broccoli okay. or chicken and salmon. Because so I'll just make one meal and then I'll like have it for the rest of the week. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kind of like not sometimes as well. I'm the same. Or yeah. I'll just get lazy though, I, and then I'm just not having anything healthy. When I cook, I get angry. I don't know why. Just like I don't enjoy it at all. So I'm there, like chopping, like sick. Oh, oh! I just want to like have McDonald's or something. Yeah. 
I'm the same. I live for a takeaway, especially in the pandemic. Like, there's literally nothing else to do but mm. eat. Well, yeah, no, there's, yeah, there's so much else to do. But <laughs> yeah, but it's the only thing I think of. <laughs> enjoy. <laughs> yeah, the only thing I actually really enjoy. <laughs> What's it like over there? Where? What in, here? In the UK. Oh, but, oh, with like lockdown. Yeah. Mm, I don't. It's just rubbish. I hate it. I actually mm. hate it. Like I don't mm. even. I don't enjoy anything. Like, mm. I don't want to go anywhere. Like people are like, oh, why don't you? Why don't we go out? Like, because I where I live, I'm literally like. I'm outside of London, but there's a train that goes into London. It takes 20 mm. minutes to get to Central. Mm. Um, and everyone's like, oh, we should, we should go out. But I mean, why would we go out? You have to book everywhere you go. Mm. And then you, you have to be out by 10. And yeah. then like, you're, you're probably going to be like drunk and then kicked out into the street at 10 and nowhere to go. You have to wear a mask. Like, I just don't see the point in going out. Like, I, have, yeah, I just don't see the point in it. And like, even going shopping, I just get so frustrated and sweaty and hot and angry in these masks. I just don't, I just don't go anywhere. Like yeah. even can we just do it all online just because I hate mm. it. Yeah. I and like nothing on a normal day. Yeah. What's it like online? Like, in, in Ireland? Yeah. You Nowhere's know, open. Well, yeah, we're back into like a proper lockdown now. Like, but well, yeah. we are, but we aren't. Like, like restaurants are only open for takeaway and stuff. Yeah. Pubs aren't open. Pubs aren't open. Um, our shops like fashion shops they're open still but like uh yesterday they like we're gonna they were making a decision between putting us into like a full-on lockdown like we can only travel 5k mm. or to this like level three that we're at now yeah but like it's pretty everyone was going crazy yeah. about us maybe going into total lockdown which is level five. Oh yeah. my god yeah you know what's weird, though? for me i kind of like you're gonna think i'm crazy but I would rather just everyone be in a complete lockdown yeah. like it was at the beginning and then just get it over and done with. Like, I don't want any of this. Like, I don't, like, if I can't go and have fun, I don't care. Like, I don't, I don't want to go anywhere. Like, I just want it to be normal or lock us up, lock us away. Because then yeah, at least if you're in complete lockdown, there's no pressure. That like, you're just yeah. at home. Just one or the other, like, you know exactly where yeah. you can't. I hate the, like, in-between. Yeah, and in and out and the, like, of it threatening well. of full lockdown and, like, will yeah. we, won't we? Just do it if and you it do it. Well, doesn't it? Like, if, they, if they're, like, I don't know, dipping in and out of it, it just prolongs the pain. Like, I just yeah. want to get over and done with. Yeah, yeah exactly. They're, like, showing us what we can have and then we're getting used to kind of going yeah. back to normal and then they're like, hi, I've got you taking it all back away. Yeah. Now. <laughs> um, but, like, yeah. I was supposed to be going to Bali at the end of the year, oh. so at the, like, it's like the 28th of December, and we booked it back in March, like just before we had lockdown, and we were like, oh my god, yeah, everything will be fine by then. Yeah, and, like, we were 100 percent going to Bali, and even like this whole time we've been like, yes, we're definitely going to Bali, like we're definitely going to Bali. Bear in mind, I don't have a job, I don't have any money, I don't know how the hell I think I'm going to Bali, <laughs> um, but we had the flights booked, and um, it just got cancelled like yesterday. Oh, that's so annoying. It's so I have in my head that 2021 it will be gone. Like in my head, it's like first January 2021, COVID's yeah. done, 2020 is done, that's it. But yeah. like, I need to come to terms with the fact that that's not gonna happen. Yeah, and like March. Really hard. What they're saying it's gonna be like March that everything will maybe get back to normal again. I know, I know, I can't. So yeah. I don't want to think of it. That's so rubbish. Mm -hmm. And my birthday's in December as well. Like I was laughing at my friends. And I was like, ha ha, your birthday's in lockdown. And then my birthday's gonna be rubbish too. <laughs> <laughs> so you're is that Sagittarius? Yeah. Cute. I know nothing about the star yeah. signs other than me and you. <laughs> I'm you I love star signs. What are you guys? Cancer. I'm Aries. Oh. Yeah, I love it. I would like whenever I go out or if I'm at a party or something, I'm like What's your, what time were you born? Text your mom. Let's do your birth chart. Oh, um, we did a whole podcast on <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we did. Have it's so it? interesting. The co-star app. Yeah, I've got co-star. <laughs> I want to see what my horoscope is for today. We'll Isn't it weird? Like, they're, what, they're, it's like, don't do weird things. Have you seen it? Like, oh, you know, yeah. You I home, saw like, one of your posts was like, right. co-star told me I shouldn't post today, so I didn't. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I always feel like a, 
I thought I'd to follow it like well it's obviously told me that for a reason <laughs> yeah fair it says for me today do materialism do bubbles do chewing gum don't garlic don't drive in uh movies don't intense connection okay mine is very yeah. random yeah they're really vague mine says do oats do mood playlists do tactile sensation don't do butterflies alley behind bar and paperwork oh my god isn't that weird i said about that i look like i've just been in an alley yeah mm. crap yeah. yeah so so don't do that, do that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Me. I must get it again. Yeah. I have like no memory on my phone, so I delete everything. <laughs> oh, I'm the same. I have to delete everything. Yeah, it's so it's annoying. annoying. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Enough of this COVID talk. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm finished. I'm sick of it. Not corona. Let's not. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, what else have you been doing? Um. Right. So let me. Thing. so obviously it was like the whole thing was like bettering yourself mind body and spirit mm -hmm. so for mind I was doing stuff well I have I'm still doing it stuff like meditation and um, yeah. because I was doing it I was like dabbling before I did the whole project what I have but I wasn't like a meditation master but I meditate every day now and it actually does make a difference and um, I also meditate to go to sleep I've got the headspace app um mm -hmm. And I use the sleep cast and I honestly tell everyone if anyone's got any problem sleeping, download Headspace, use the sleep cast, you will be asleep in five minutes. And I'm, I'm not joking, like every, every day within five minutes, I'm a goner. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I've been doing that for mm -hmm. mind. Um, I'm trying to think what have I been doing, I don't even know. <laughs> um, trying to get myself organized as well, like just like throwing out stuff I don't need. Um, I did like the other day because I lost loads of motivation again. Like for me, I just, I don't know what my problem is. I just don't do things. Like when I had, when I was working full time, I used to like wake up, do my makeup, have a shower, do my makeup and hair, which sounds like really basic, but I don't do that all the time now. Yeah. So like wake up, get ready. While I'm getting ready, I used to like watch a TED talk or like some inspirational YouTube just because I, like, I thought what, well, yeah, do it now. And then obviously I'd be at work, work all day. Lunchtime I'd go for a run. After work I might do like a spin class or a boxing class or something. Yeah. And I'd still socialize, make dinner, like do everything I wanted to do. And I got everything done. Whereas now I'm not doing, I'm not doing anything, but I'm not getting anything done. And I just yeah, feel like it's got a lack of routine. Yeah. Um, so I made myself a little routine checklist, but the only way I will actually do something is if I get something for it. So I'm doing, if I do everything in one day, I get a gold star. Well, silver star um and then if i get seven stars in one week i'm gonna like treat myself to something i don't know what yet but maybe like like a top or, like <laughs> do you know yeah. what i mean so so mm -hmm. it's like and it like, gives me something to work towards yeah. um yeah that's what i'm doing for mind um i love that i screenshotted your chart and tried to do it yes i did, do. I did yeah. like a because people were like oh i don't want i don't want those ones on this so i did a blank one um but what, oh, yeah, what else? What oh yeah body um my friend did me a workout plan like I like I said I used to work out all the time anyway but my problem is food like I I'm a pig like I love yeah. bad food. like I like not I mean you know people are like oh yeah I love junk food like no I love junk food like it's <laughs> actually disgusting um so I find it really hard to eat healthy because all I want to do is eat like cereal and like croissants and yeah and pasta so for me like trying to eat healthy is torture and mm -hmm. um, it still is torture like I'm I still struggle like I probably could have done a lot better with my diet I just think I'm a bit disappointed in myself actually on that front but I have been working out like pretty much every day still so that's good mm. yeah um yeah. what else have I done um I literally don't I can't, I, my memory is so bad <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, mine, like, I need to start doing like brain brain. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, um, my brain's yeah. turning into mush. Um, <laughs> um, well, oh yeah, reading a book every day for my brain. That's what I've been doing as well. Um, <laughs> yeah. I like to read like um, self help books. I guess you yeah. know, like the Secret, the magic. Um, mm -hmm. I'm reading at the moment the Power of Now because loads of people have recommended that. I don't know if you've read it. I'm probably literally just started. I think it, I have that. That's what is that by um, Eckhart Tolle. 
Yeah, yeah. That's yeah, I'm reading that at the moment, but I read oh, very slowly, like on one page. Like I'm such a bad yeah. reader. Yeah, I've only just started as well, so I couldn't tell you if it was good or not, but I've heard amazing things about it. Yeah. Um, and then what else have I done? So my mm -hmm. body spirit. Um, like I said, meditation. I've also looked at. I bought loads of crystals. Um, what else? I feel like I've done way you more. But yeah, I've done more. so much. She really has. How do you cram that into every day? Even I'm literally like, I am a lazy bitch. <laughs> I mean, like I was, I was saying, like I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that and blah 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 blah. And I feel like eight weeks actually isn't that long of a time to really try things and like yeah. get yourself a proper routine because it does take ages to actually learn what you're doing make it become normal like yeah. do it like kind of like second nature like, you know that detox drink I've been having the first like I would say 10 times I made it I was like oh what do I do now like it took me ages but now I'm like it's easy but things like that it was hard for me to even start doing it because I thought oh I've got to make the drink like even though I've got nothing better to do but it's still like oh I've got to do that um, but yeah, like, I don't know, I feel eight weeks just wasn't, isn't enough time really yeah. to actually do everything I said I was going to do. And I also felt pressure because like, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But I think realistically, how am I supposed to do all that at the same time and know what's working and what isn't? So yeah, I didn't yeah. really think that one through. <laughs> it's just to get even like a good head start though. And then obviously you have to keep mm. them up for the rest of your life pretty much. <laughs> That's the worst part. Like when I was younger, I used to be like, oh, like I'll just lose like this amount of weight or I'll just go to the gym like every day and then I'll get to like where I want to be. And then I'd be like, okay, you came here, but I have to done that. Doing and that then I, I, was, I remember being like, I have to keep going to the gym. Like yeah. what the fuck is this? I'm finished. <laughs> yeah. Like it never ends. <laughs> you have to do this forever so annoying yeah, and i'm still and not over well, get longer, we're just gonna it's just gonna get worse like we're just gonna have to try harder and harder aren't we when it comes to working out and yeah, being healthy. i know i think finding like a sport or a workout that you enjoy is key, yeah to yeah. be honest yeah like i started yeah. swimming there during the lockdown and i love it I haven't gone in ages though and it's starting to get colder so I'm so scared that next time I go I'm literally going to get hypothermia. Yeah. But, um, is it outside? It wasn't too what? bad. Is it outside? Yeah, like the sea swimming. Sea. Oh, sea swimming? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, that is hardcore. Yeah. You can only bear what? like a few minutes though, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can only do like 10 minutes. But like you burn so many calories from the cold water. Yeah. And then That's after so that as well, because your body's trying to uh, warm itself up. Mm. And you, you just feel great. Wait. What was that, sorry? I said that you were you burn calories when you get out then as well, because your body's trying to heat itself back up. Oh yeah. Have you heard of Wim Hof? Yes. Yeah. Um, it's like that, isn't it? Like he teaches you how to go into the cold water and he says that like a cold shower in the morning is the best thing you can do. Yeah. I was going to do that as like one of my things, but yeah. like, I don't it's a good one. you should do it. I will mean, try, yeah. it's just too much all at once, I can't go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. a lot, it's a lot, you have to kind of take like, it in steps by the time. Eat healthy, exercise, mm. do this, and have a cold shower, I can't. Yeah, Not yeah. Like <laughs> and you'd be miserable, <laughs> what a miserable really life. Like <laughs> Victory. Mm. Yeah, I can't turn the shower cold. Like I can't. Like I can get in for a swim because I know that's a scene that's meant to be cold, but I can't yeah. turn the cold shower. I just can't. I'm not that bad because I never have hot water in my house. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so lazy. I'm always like, oh, I have to have a shower. I'm like, I have to have a shower now. Like I won't wait for the water to heat up. So I'm like, I'm gonna just have a shower now. And I'm literally like, oh, it's horrible. Yeah, it's that's happening for you while you do that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Fair. <laughs> yeah I don't know what it is about the shower I just think because you're getting into the sea and you're going in from the bottom up whereas the shower just mm. but you're also like swimming top. like you're moving to keep yourself floating yeah in the shower you're standing there like uh, like yeah, trying to hide true. from the water I'm literally like trying to dodge the water <laughs> like trying to wash my have. hair I'm like trying to wash my hair without it touching my body <laughs> so grim <laughs> <laughs> that sea swimming oh, no. is crazy I actually can I don't, I don't like salt water in my face either like yeah that would just stress me out yeah oh. it's worse it's actually meant to be good for your skin I'm sure it is but salt yeah 
when I go on holiday, I always like, obviously when it's warm, not when it's freezing cold, like yeah. whatever, whatever you're doing. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I would like salt water, I just feel like heals everything. It's like the answer to all your prayers, isn't it? Yeah. I always go like rub it on my face when I go in the sea. Yeah, yeah, it's so, so, so good. Mm-hmm. The only thing is, I'm petrified of jellyfish. Yeah, like, petrified. Like oh, here it is. Well. It's like yeah, they ruin it for me because I'm. She got stuck. Did you? Oh no! It was it bad? Oh, my belly. Mm, yeah, I passed out and everything. Like I was only. Oh. Loads of people do apparently. Mum said, "Mum, I'm gonna die." Oh what? Yeah. Oh like, my god! I obviously didn't. I just, like it wasn't <laughs> that bad, but like. I, I did, I, I apparently like passed out and I was asleep. I was like passed out for hours and I had this like massive like r- purple thing on my stomach where I got stung by this jellyfish because oh, I was like, I was like drowned in the shallow water and what, so. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do you know what type <laughs> of jellyfish it was? <laughs> I have no idea. There's so many, some of them are so dangerous and some of them are not too bad. Yeah. yeah. Was it on holidays or was it in? Um, um, Oh, wow. my nan! My nan lived there, so we would just go down. See, that just well, makes me so terrified. Yeah, because they're in our water. I've never got like bitten or stung by anything. But I'm like, I would be the type of person to be like allergic or like react yeah, so badly. That's actually like so I've never got stung by a wasp or anything. But I'm like, imagine that I'm allergic. Yeah. So that's why I'm so terrified. I'm terrified of jellyfish the most. Though I'm literally like, I remember I was away somewhere down the country when I was way younger and I was in the sea and I was like la 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 thinking it was great and my mom was in there with me and I was like there's no jellyfishes there and she's like no no definitely not definitely not and like there was literally one right beside me and I was like oh my god and I ran into the sea as fast as I could like I obviously was barely even in it was still so shallow so I like legged it out and my mom was just like I was like run and then I was fuming <laughs> I was fuming and I was like you told me there was no jellyfish in here <laughs> literally one second after she was like no definitely not <laughs> oh, no. mum wanted you to get stung by a jellyfish <laughs> yeah oh. I got stung by a bee three times a bee or what a bee well bee which sting? one which one die after they sting you Bees die. Yeah. Mm. Was it a bee or what? Bees... Sorry, my sister. My sister is like right there behind the camera. <laughs> Do bees always sting, or is it only some of them? So I'm not that scared. Only what? bees only sting you if they feel like they're in danger. And then oh, right. that's why they fly after, like, they will be like the last thing they do. But wasps mm. will just. Wasps sting you, they don't die. So they, they, they'll sting you more likely. Oh. But bees are only going to sting you if they feel like they have to. Because right? they die. So why would they oh. It was probably wasps that makes way more sense. Wasps, yeah. It was wasps. Yeah. Really yeah. Bees. yeah. Oh, no, that's great. Now I'm going to be scared of bees as well as wasps. <laughs> um, no, but scared of bees. Like they won't hurt you. Mm. Yeah, bees won't. But yeah. They won't sting you unless you annoy them. Yeah. I got stung by a wasp last summer and I was on my lunch break and I, I was in boots and I like felt it happen. And I was like, oh, like it feels like a needle like sticks right into you. Yeah. I was like, oh my yeah. god, oh my god, I've been stung. Um but I was on my own so I couldn't say anything and I was in there like, oh my god, like I'm literally the biggest drama queen ever. Mm-hmm. Um and I thought, oh my gosh, I'm gonna faint. And I was like, I had to like walk back up the high street like to try to get back to work and I was like and I got in and I was like shaking like I had like, to drink oh my gosh it's stung like it really does hurt though and it does make you feel weird like it was, I feel like it gets you like adrenaline going and then you have like this weird yeah like crash yeah no fully it does I got stung I sat on one oh. so I got stung on my bum and then oh. I lay down on one and I got stung on my boob and then <laughs> was this all at once no, no, oh, no, no, different times. <laughs> I was like, God, um, no, it wasn't like a fucking wasp. <laughs> oh, that would happen to you, though. I know. And then I got stuck on my head. Like, what? <laughs> Why? Like, like, yeah, it was bleak. It was very bleak. I need to stand up because I've got a stitch. I've had a stitch for the last like 20 minutes. That's why I keep drinking my water. I'm trying to get rid of this. How do you get rid of the stitch? I'm not drinking water anyway. I thought that helped. You don't just have to. Walk. I thought yeah. you have to go like this yeah. to get rid of the stitch and walk at the same time. Yeah. You, it's, you're not getting enough like oxygen to the bits that hurt. Yeah. Is a stitch like what you get from running? Yeah. Yeah. It's so weird how you have one now. Yeah, she's just sitting down on the couch. <laughs> Maybe that's an effort for me. 
<laughs> it must be. So tell yeah. us about your crystals, Zoe. I'm so interested in them. I only have one crystal, and every full moon, I like go out and charge it, and I'm like, ooh, I'm a witch. I'm interested. Yeah. I know nothing, <laughs> so I'd love to. Know. Yeah. Are you doing cool? Yes, yeah, mm-hmm. do a haul. Where is I went to the crystal shop in London. I don't know why. I just really wanted to go to the store. Um, I've got loads now since then, but I bought, I saw this, so look, it looks like a rock. Mm-hmm. There, when you open it. Oh, I'm cool. Crystal. It's pretty. This one is just like quartz. I don't know, if, I don't. I think it's just like purifying good vibes energy. I don't even know if this does anything. I just bought it because it was pretty. I really want um, Huh? I really want some now. Yeah, you show you me one, one and I really like, want some, yeah. Where do you buy say that you should so this one I got at this just I li- I was in London and I just typed in crystal shop so I just followed oh. notes and I went there mm. and so I got this in London as well mm. and then look I actually have a fuck ton of crystals this is my little my little crystal, oh, crystal. Little um I don't honestly I don't even know what some of them do I just bought them yeah. um so then uh, we've got like, like rose quartz this one's for love oh, again this is gorgeous. these are the ones Got the first time the one in london um yeah this is for like love this one is citrine so this one is supposed to bring you um like fortune and do so you do well in like business this is not working um <laughs> i want to read one <laughs> so this one is for like um um la, 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 like peace love healing like that mm. was you know like the big one i got yeah Down I can't bring it up right now um but yeah it's the same as that one but obviously in tiny form um uh, honestly I have so many I couldn't even tell you I just got some this one's really pretty this one's for like oh that's so shiny success Ooh. and like finances and stuff I got this one the other day because I was like girl I need I need some money <laughs> um but yeah everything else I don't like honestly don't really know I just thought this one was cool as well so some of them I got in Brighton because I went there the other day, like, well, the other day I went there a few weeks ago. Um, and then the other ones I just got at a random shop in London. But I just thought they were cool. Like, mm. I think they look pretty. And if they can bring me good vibes, then Why bring not? me good vibes. Like, that's yeah. what I And um, they must have, like, there must be something in it, like, because they do vibrate at, like, a higher frequency, which brings your own frequency up. So... I obviously want to learn more about it. I'm only like a, a novice into the crystal world. Mm-hmm. I just thought I'm just like keep buying pretty rocks. And um, but I think I'm done for a while now. I don't I don't need any more crystals. But <laughs> yeah, I thought I just think they're really cool. And um, you need them to like grow. Like so, you know all your chakras. Yeah. Mine are out of balance. So I got like I actually got these for a reason. So I had to get. The red one and the black one to heal my root chakra because apparently if your root chakra is out of balance nothing else can nothing else kind of can ever be in balance because your root well they are in balance and nothing else really works properly because your root is like the main thing that you need to sort out mm-hmm. um and yeah mine is overactive apparently so it's not like underactive i feel like it's too much so i think i'm like i think i'm greedy maybe or like i don't use my energy wisely i don't that's what i'm yeah. taking yeah. from what i've yeah apparently these two do that so sometimes i do like a root chakra healing and i hold these because it takes a few months to heal each one so mm-hmm. i'm trying to do that at the moment as well that's another thing i did i forgot to say um at the beginning of like very beginning when i posted that first couple of videos um, a girl messaged me on instagram and she was like oh can i do this thing for you like i it'd be the kashik record i was like yeah of course like that sounds cool. I love spiritual stuff. Um, and basically she's, she sent me all these tests and I did them. And then she, I gave her like my birth time, place of birth, full name, like when I was born, everything like that. Um, and she sent back like a detailed document of my whole life, like my, my life path, my personality type, my best learning style, my mm. um, sleep, my optimum sleep pattern. Like, and basically what she does, it's called the Akashic records. So you get into like a meditative state and you can, basically access anyone's lifetime records for like past present and future and you find out like what their soul purpose is supposed to be so it does sound 
crazy, but you know how like uh, someone gets into like their meditative state when they mm. when they're a medium, they get into meditative state to speak to spirit. It's kind of like you get into like she can get into that same meditative state. Yeah. Um, but like it's all, but it's kind of different, and then access your records, but she can only do it if you give her the permission to. Um, her Instagram is talking to the acacia. If you want to check her out, um, mm -hmm. she was really she's so nice and yeah, that's so really cool. Nice. We did like a whole document and it took me a few days to read it. And then we had a FaceTime. We were literally talking for like five hours because there was so oh. much to talk about. It was so interesting. Oh my God. Um, but I do, I'm going to make a video on that, but I haven't done it yet because there's too much information. I feel like I needed to take it all in. Yeah. Sort it out and then I can like, really tell you about it because I would honestly recommend it to anyone to get mm -hmm. this done because you kind of, it kind of tells you like what you should be doing and what gifts you should have. Like when she did, mine because i feel like i don't know i just feel really stressed about life like i'm 25 so yeah. say if you asked me when i was like 17 what i thought i'd be doing when i was 25 mm. i didn't think i'd still be living at home yeah. not my career out like like i don't know i just feel like a little bit of a failure um so i, I yeah i just still i still don't know what it is i'm supposed to be doing like as a career and I keep yeah. applying for jobs that I don't want like I know yeah. that sounds negative, yeah, yeah. But like I don't want to work in these boring jobs like I, you know like on LinkedIn and stuff on or on like read and indeed it's like do you have a passion for numbers like no I don't no. yeah <laughs> yeah but who does no one yeah yeah and very, then, very. like requirements oh it's just stupid yeah. like of course I don't like and I hate like I really hate the corporate world like I don't want to wear clothes like business clothes and I don't want to like I just don't. I just don't want to do that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, it's not boring. Yeah. Me and Emma have the exact same view on it. Yeah. Like, I'm like guys. so bored. Like, I don't want to be bored yeah. in a job for the rest of my life. Like, you spend eight hours a day, five days yeah, a week at work. Yeah. At least. Like that is a good amount of your life. How, how much of your life do you work for? Like forty years. Do you want to be unhappy in your job? No way. Yeah. Like, I definitely would rather like spend time looking for the right job and like even if right. that means like being like 25 and not having one yeah spend time looking for one I like rather than just doing one I don't like for the sake of it yeah what do you guys do at the moment well I work <laughs> hypocrite I work in an office but I also am a yoga teacher oh that's cool I've just started yeah. doing 30 days of yoga with Adrian. So I did do the first few days and I stopped for a while and I thought, no, don't stop, do it again. So I just picked up from where I left off. So yeah, that's it's, cool. It's so helpful. I absolutely love it. Like I can, I find such a difference in me when I am practicing and then when I'm not practicing, I'm like mm -hmm. so much more stressed. Yeah. So much more like just disorganized and like mm -hmm. gross. Like it really helps, I think. So yeah, mm -hmm. I qualified in July. So oh, um, that's what I do. Yeah, Emma's much more, much more exciting than me. I'm not. I don't have a job anymore. <laughs> so I just, I started like a clothing company in January. So I'm just working away on that. And I've got like a YouTube channel and stuff. So I'm kind of like, oh. I don't know what I'm really doing either. But I'm doing that at the moment. Yeah, so. but you're following your dreams. Yeah. <laughs> but I did have a job until recently. So I'm kind of like struggling with having no routine as well. I'm like what do I do yeah it's hard yeah, yeah. You know, routine mornings like I could just sit there and not do anything for ages before I do stuff even though I like what I do I still just it's just yeah no routine is so hard so I need to get one like, really hard to push yourself I think like yeah I just can't. even though sometimes I honestly I'm there like come on Chloe come on and mm. I just don't do it I'm like yeah. what is wrong with you and like, I actually talk to myself. I'm like, what is wrong with you? You're such a lazy bitch. Like, why can't you just do it? And yeah. I just still don't do it. I'm scrolling through TikTok and I think, put your phone down. Like, I honestly sometimes have to turn my phone off. And like, sometimes I have like, it's really, it's really silly, but down the side of my bed, there's like a little gap and my phone drops down it. Sometimes I just leave it there because I think, good, I can't go on it now. <laughs> so I'll leave it there for like hours just so I don't go on my phone because otherwise I will spend hours and hours and hours on it. Yeah. I'm yeah saying, you have to do these things like tiktok like you can literally get sucked into TikTok yeah. and spend so long yeah i have to like, stop going on it like, even watching the same video like the same sound and other people do and they like whatever the hell it is yeah i don't know mm. why i enjoy it so much like it's not normal such, like yeah 
it's crazy. Yeah, they really know how to get you and keep you. And yeah. Keep you alive. Yeah. I just only I will be there and it'll be like okay just five more minutes and then it'll be like half an hour I'm like, oh, just five more minutes yeah and it's fine yeah that one, doesn't it yeah. and it makes me stay up later as well like if I'm sitting on my phone I'll just keep going on my phone like I'll just yeah. keep magically finding stuff to watch and do this what is I why I set myself this nighttime routine like an hour before I go to bed I'm not I put my phone on like a do not do not disturb and watch. I just like try to wind down other than my sleep meditation like I just don't I'm trying not to go on it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I need to, to read instead. Yeah, reading actually yeah. helps put you to sleep as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Do you know that this is, I don't know how true this is, but I read this somewhere that going on your phone gives you the same, like, yes. reaction in your brain, like, as cocaine. As, co- as if you were to, like, snort a line of cocaine. Oh. Apparently. And, like, that's how alert it makes you. Kind of makes sense, especially at night time when it's that bright and it's yeah. making you like read and look at the so much images. It's so Isn't weird. That crazy. Imagine it's you true. and doing cocaine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then you right. definitely wouldn't be getting any sleep. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, I find no it so one I can never sleep. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm always on my phone. I don't really know the doing. <laughs> Yeah, but it is like a nighttime routine is so important for a good night's sleep. Mm. And a good night's sleep is so important for a good day. Yeah. But like I for a good morning. Like if yeah, you don't want to get up the next morning, you're like, oh yeah. there's nothing worse than waking up tired. Sleep is literally like one of the biggest things for health. Like yeah. if you don't get enough sleep, you will literally you'll get ill, you have bad skin, you're yeah. inside and nothing will work properly. Like mm-hmm. sleep is so important. Yeah. At least that's that's me. Like sleep is so important. Like that <laughs> sleeping into like two two in two in the daytime. <laughs> yeah, but sleep's important. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, same. Sleep and stress, they're both so important in health. Like stress. they affect it's it so much. Oh, no, like having low stress. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing, Lauren? Sorry, my sister's like on the couch over there and her computer is literally just flashing in her face. Looks like she's <laughs> having a disco. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my your last year is, Yeah. Um, yeah. My poor sister just uh she's in second year of college now, but can't obviously go into college. Oh. So bad for her because I loved going into college when I was in college. At least this is not uni. No, it's sorry, it's uni. Yeah, it's uni here. You just call it college. college. Yeah. We have got like. American. (laughs) Oh, that is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I feel so sorry for all the uni students. Yeah. What's the point of going to uni if you can't go and have fun? Yeah. (laughs) I know. I know. It's such a waste. It's like, I really do feel bad. What a waste of money. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Literally. Oh, it's a different experience. Yeah, I didn't go to uni, but I, w- I, I kind of wish I did. But like the only reason I would have gone is just to like get fucked up and have fun. Like that was the only yeah. reason I went to uni. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I don't know how much I learned. I didn't do anything fun in. Yeah, your course was so hands on, wasn't it? Yeah, I actually had to work all the time. Fashion. How rude. Huh? Did you do fashion? Yeah. Yeah, people always say fashion is like super hard. Yeah. 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 But I enjoyed the work, if you get me, so it wasn't that hard. Yeah. 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 Like I miss it now, but at the time I was like, oh, get me out of here. I want my life back. And now I'm like, I don't want my life back. I yeah, just want I'm purpose. Telling. Yeah, because yeah, back then I had no, nothing to focus on but that to get me. Like I literally focused on what I had to hand in at the end of that week to get me. Like I didn't I think that oh. hard. Like, you know, when you have to choose what you want to do for the rest of your life when you're 18, mm. it's yeah. too long. Like, no. you can't even appreciate not what you're doing. Like, if I if I had gone to uni, like I said, I, I would have just I would have just gone out all the time. I probably wouldn't have yeah. actually yeah. done any work because I hate, like, I literally hate doing work. I know it's, <laughs> that's something that makes me sound really lazy, but like, you know, like coursework and stuff like that, it's just not my vibe. I'd rather yeah. just hate it and have it over and yeah. done with. Um, so I like for me, uni just wasn't an option because I knew I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do it. I'd be wasting my yeah. money. I'd be, like fail, fail first year like ten times. 
<laughs> yeah i feel like so many people do just go for like the experience of it though which is yeah or really just go stu- it is they have to money. yeah it's or they feel like, like they forced should. to yeah Oh, I saw this it's very nice. What's wrong with me? Yeah, I don't know. Are your jeans like really tight or something? No, they're not. <laughs> they're actually loose. So weird. Uh, I don't know what it is. Maybe I'm hungry. Maybe. Sorry, guys. Don't mind me. Could we'll be. still talk. We'll still continue to talk about uh, uni. Oh, I but, can't yeah. concentrate when you're literally doing stretches. <laughs> Sorry, but I have what? to. Um. Yeah. No, I loved uni. I thought it was uni. so fun. <laughs> Yeah. Feels weird to say yeah. uni because we don't what? usually say it. We call it college. college. We just call it college, yeah. Yeah. But we have like we have like there are C courses that I think are the same as college there, is it? Well what do you call college? Is what that is like your A levels? Is that college? Yeah. Oh right. Yeah, we yeah. call it school. Yeah, it's all just school still. It's weird. Yeah. yeah. No, I stayed at school, but it was still like college level, I yeah. guess. Yeah. Hmm. So, what do you want to do in the future? Like, what would be your dream job? Um, so my dream job would be to be a travel blogger. Oh, um, the same. Yeah, we really? Yeah. Oh, see, that is that would be like my ultimate goal because I used to be cabin crew. Um, yeah, fun. For three years, I did that. It's Don't ask me why I left. I would go back in a heartbeat, but obviously, <laughs> no one's hiring. Um, so yeah, I used to do that for ages and I left and I thought, oh, I'm going to be grown up now. So I'm, I'm going to get an office job. Like, oh, this is what people are supposed to do. And yeah. I got my office job. It was okay for a while. And I thought, this can't be it for the rest of my life. Like, I, oh, I, can't, worse. I can't do this yeah. forever. Yeah. Um, and then obviously I made, I still didn't know what I wanted to do. Like that would always be my dream job. But then obviously I made this TikTok account. It's blown up. And my boyfriend is actually a, like a cinematographer. So he's like a cameraman and stuff like that. So the plan is like next time we go on holiday, we're going to try and make some cool videos yeah. and then hopefully like put, just put them out there and hopefully mm. I can get my dreams that way and just get paid to go to all these fancy destinations and yeah. can just film everything. Um, so that's my dream, mm-hmm. but I, I feel like I have the plan to get there, but obviously I need to like have money to go on holiday to film a video and yeah. blah, blah, blah. I also mm. love, um, like kind of what I'm doing now but I really like helping people achieve their dreams if that makes any sense like mm-hmm. whenever I'm talking to people I'm always like I love to like motivate people um to like get people going or especially with like diet and exercise I'm like come on you can do this it's easy if I can do it you can do it like I just love to tell, <laughs> I love to tell people what to do and mm-hmm. um, so I, lo- I love You're like a cheerleader <laughs> yeah like yeah like a personal cheerleader that's what I enjoy doing but realistically well not really well, how can I say that's realistic I don't know um, but no I would like to be a travel blogger who knows yeah you could definitely do that yeah do you know it would be so good I think this would like people are so interested in cabin crew I think you should make have you made your YouTube channel yet uh I have actually made it but I'm still trying to edit my first video <laughs> <laughs> yeah I oh, think make it, it, it is it's hard, hard though it? It is. yeah, yeah. So time consuming as well. I spent like the whole day today editing a video pretty much. It is hard, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Even though I don't have a job and well, you don't have a job now either. <laughs> doing this sort of stuff actually takes up so much time. Like and even yeah. like making TikToks because in a way the YouTube video is easier than doing I think once I get the hang of it, it'll be easier than doing yeah. TikToks. I've got to fit like X amount of information into 60 seconds. Yeah, into- editing stuff down to really short that takes yeah. so long, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. I think voiceover and being like, blah, 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 yeah. blah, blah, like, it's hard. Yeah, it's really hard. No, yeah. you think it's great though when you do get like the hang of it. Like, I feel like yeah. I could get more consistency again. Because when you're like in the swing of it, it's so nice, it's so good. Mm. I love YouTube, I love watching it as well so much. Yeah, it's yeah. What I watch. I I never watch TV. But I think you should definitely make a video about being cabin crew. Yeah. Like people are so interested in that stuff. Yeah, I'd watch. Like yeah. you should make how you got into it, funny stories, mm. what the jobs like, story time. where you went. Honestly, people yeah. love it. Yeah. And then you won't even need to get another job to go traveling because you'll make the money from YouTube from that video. Yeah. Videos. Oh, can you imagine that is, that is a dream I would love obviously I want to be like I said I want to be a travel blogger but mm. um getting pe- getting 
followers over from TikTok to YouTube and then make money from doing that or even like from TikTok to Instagram Mm. I don't even know how I don't even know how it works I haven't even looked into it or anything like that but to be able to like post or and make money for just like posting and making videos and being myself Mm. that would literally dream but who knows who knows maybe I'll just manifest it yeah yeah, exactly (laughs) manifest it yeah like into a dream board yeah oh, that kind of Emma your dream board literally came true yeah so much so true. weird Emma, so Emma's much one add come to true. Now. I've only yeah. got a few bits on it like I feel like I started it and didn't really finish it like a good few months ago when was it it was like ages ago yeah it was like eight months ago or something I'd say it was before quarantine wasn't it yeah no maybe I think it was like a year ago actually oh really because I have my car nearly a year and that was on it oh yeah like the exact car was it it's pretty yeah well the same model yeah <laughs> there's so much bits yeah. on it to have or that are like on their way kind of if you get me that's yeah. amazing yeah mm. that is amazing so have you seen the two of the girl and she made a dream board a few years ago and literally everything on her dream board came true down to like the mm. jumper she was wearing her engagement ring picture so, everything oh engagement ring i also put that on it <laughs> <laughs> i want a big fat frock <laughs> no not <laughs> um but yeah everything she put on that board came everything came That's true great. and it was like to, to like to the exact detail like the things she was wearing the places she was in the way the photo was taken That's like, so strange it, that is yeah, crazy. Crazy. strange yeah it works so it fully works i watched like, loads of videos and they had all got stuff on it that had come true where else was like on its way yeah it's crazy it fully works. another one people like scripting like you like mm-hmm. writing in the present tense as if you've already got the yeah. things that you want to have and i was yeah. watching this youtube video um today i can't it's like master ski, ski i honestly can't remember this is guy mm-hmm. anyway and he had this girl on um and what was her name i followed her earlier um let me get it up because i was actually shocked at what she was saying um life by lucy is her account um but she did a she like wrote a letter everything came true like everything on everything when it came true i just went crazy it's so weird yeah and it works like it totally works i have like, done it loads actually same. when i had a job that i hated i literally used to write in my notebook every single day i'm like oh my god i'm so happy that i finally had it in my notice today and then i eventually <laughs> did and i was like Thank fucking God. It's, yeah. Yeah, I look back on stuff that I've written from like months ago and literally it all came true. Did it? So weird. Yeah. So good. Yeah. I need to do some more. Made the habit. Hmm. I need to do this. I haven't done this. I always like try to manifest things like Mm. in my head. I'm going to manifest it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Do you know what I always have you guys read the secret or or seen the secret at least yeah um, yeah you know how they say about the parking space it was like yes, the first yes. i always without fail i would always get a parking space i'll think okay i'm gonna no go here i'm gonna reverse in and then when i get there i'm just like again i'm like thank you every time like even at christmas yeah. i will get a parking space if you're with me I need to do that more. Place. crazy <laughs> so like, the other day the other day I went into the shopping centre and I went on to, you know, like it was it was level two, but the one where you just yeah. walk in, you don't have to get a lift or anything like that. Yeah. And it was packed. And I just went round, and as I went round, a car pulled right out just where I was going to go in. And I was like, crazy. Amazing. What oh, a great... It's happened that way. It's so powerful. Like, if yeah. you fully believe in it, it happens. Anything can happen. Yeah. You can manifest anything. Yeah. It's um, just us in our heads, like, Say, telling ourselves we can't believe like you know how like obviously we how we've all been brought up like you go to school like say so when mm-hmm. we're young we always think we can do anything blah 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 but then you go yeah. to school and people are like oh don't be silly and like your parents are like oh no you can't do that and then like mm-hmm. you just get told over and over again, you can't do this oh no that's not how we do things things don't work like that oh no money money you have to work hard for money money doesn't grow on trees money's hard to get blah 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 yeah and you have all these like beliefs in your head that um you can't do certain things yeah but then if you just change the way you think you can do all these things like i was watching something and it was like you know how skinny girls who always eat loads of food but they say skinny and you think how are you eating so much food but you still say yeah. skinny like one, one of my best friends has a literally a, a banging bod like 
it's and then she'll sit there and eat like a full pack of biscuits a chinese takeaway like mm -hmm. the, the what she can see is crazy and she's got like a six pack um <laughs> but i honestly think it's just because her whole life she's had that belief system that oh yeah i'm, I'm slim and i can eat what i want and then i will stay slim and that's what yeah. happens for a lot of people. Whereas I've always, like, with my mum, like my nan, everyone who's been like, oh, oh, don't eat that because you'll get fat. Or, oh, I'm, yeah. I'm overweight. But so you just hear it and you have these beliefs like, mm -hmm. I like that, I'm going to get fat. Or, oh my God, I'm eating this food, I'm going to be fat. And I don't know, it just kind of like, it's always, it's always on your mind. So if you don't okay. think about stuff like that, or if you change the way your mind works and hope, then technically you, you, your outer life mm -hmm. should change as well. Yeah, yeah. I never thought of it in like, ways like that like I thought of it in ways of like money and like not in terms of jobs like, and future, but not in stuff like that yeah that's so and true I can see that because that's yeah. what like I've kind of been brought up to be like oh no like you yeah. know my mom and nanny always be on bloody diets and yeah. everything like do you know what I mean yeah and that's kind of the way we talk to each other mm -hmm. as well so yeah it's so interesting it's a good one I like it it's such a good one I never thought of that we're going to be skinny. there's this girl on skinny Malik. youtube called leo alexander do you know her leo so. alexandra oh she, she's really good she's like my favorite youtuber um she she talks about like all manifesting law of attraction like all yeah. of that kind of thing all the stuff yeah. like you want to be interested in to like better your life but one of her main things like the the reason she got so big is because she did this video on how to change your appearance with the law of attraction oh i've seen the video she was like, like where you should I've yeah go look watched. into it because honestly it's just like a mindset you have to believe and you have to be thankful and another i saw a girl she, uh, she was telling a story about another girl who did it and she said she hated her nose so she was like trying to manifest her nose for, um, to be different no um, and she was thinking well, my nose is different blah, blah blah and in the process she kind of thought like my nose isn't even that bad like she kind of learned to love her nose when she yeah. hated it long but then after a while she realized her nose actually did change like her nose did That's change from the like, I don't know how she said it was more like turned up or something I guess you would notice in yourself yeah um but I think the key to it is learning to be grateful for what you already have whilst you're mm. manifesting because otherwise you won't get anything if you're not grateful so they say like in every single book or like guru ev everyone says like gratitude is the key so if you're grateful then for what you already have then good things will come so over this like eight week period I've I have I am really harsh on myself like sometimes I'm like oh you're so fat and like you're so ugly like or yeah. I look in the mirror I'm like oh I'm like oh yeah I think everyone's pretty harsh well not everyone yeah. but a lot of people are probably like that yeah but like I think I you know what I have I, I have lost some weight I've probably lost like Probably like 10, 10 pounds. That's so good. Yeah, that's a I lot. I've weighed myself a bit. I have got, I probably weighed about, probably lost about 10 pounds. Um, but in the meantime, I'm just thinking, like, I have to kind of appreciate what I have. Yeah. <laughs> because if I just keep hating myself, I'm going to feel rubbish all the time. Yeah. And I know, and I know loads of girls like preach about um self-love and before i was like how can you love yourself if you don't like if you, I, I can't love myself if i look like this like I, yeah. so now i kind of get it like just love yourself because you know what as well like imagine you woke up tomorrow and you like had to like amputate your arm or amputate your leg you yeah wouldn't, you wouldn't be worried about the fat on your leg then you'd think fuck i wish i had my exactly. arm back yeah <laughs> yeah exactly be grateful for what you have and then better things will come mm -hmm. love yeah. that mm-hmm that's such a little mm. positive note to yeah i feel like we should end it on that note because i feel like we've been talking for way longer than i feel <laughs> <laughs> but it's been so good yeah i've loved that i feel like we're besties now honestly i could honestly go on and talk yeah. for another three hours yeah but i just know that we can't yeah. <laughs> girl talk. everyone else will be like yeah, girl girl talk. Shut up yeah i love yeah, everyone's probably like okay, i've had enough of you bitches now <laughs> yeah so yeah they're like they're probably not even listening anymore it's only my mom that's made it this far no no, no that's, that's <laughs> i'm joking speak, yeah that's my manifest into manifestation um, everyone who's still here million viewers <laughs> for this youtube video <laughs> um so yeah thank you so much chloe for coming on it has been a pleasure to yeah, talk to you it really has so much fun and thank you for having yeah. me. it's a pleasure
We'll definitely have you back on and go and start that YouTube channel and mm -hmm. make that video about being an air hostess. Yeah, I can't wait to watch your video. What's your first one gonna be? Or do you want to say? The swing of it, my first one because I so I did. I've always wanted to do a YouTube channel, like I said, yeah. um, but at the beginning of lockdown, I kept trying to sit down and make YouTube videos, blah blah blah. Mm. And I just felt really awkward, I just felt cringe, yeah. like I just didn't really know what to do. But obviously, now because I'm on TikTok and I know people, there will be people who watch it, it's not just me mm. making videos for, like you said, like for my mum. Yeah. Um, but so I know people will watch it, so I feel a little bit different. But the first one, I literally just did like an intro video, what I've been doing so far, yeah. um, like what the channel is going to be about. And it was just to like get me into the swing of it. So I probably will film another one maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Um, yeah, just to, I just felt like I had to, I had to do that intro video yeah, yeah. Um, just to get myself kind of in the flow and to know what I'm doing. And also, I feel like if I just go in with a random video, I feel like a bit of a fraud. I feel like I want to be like, hello, this is my yeah, first video. Okay. I'm yeah, now going to make videos yeah. watching. Yeah. 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 So, Perfect. I don't know. I, I need to make it. like some sort of plan. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I'm so excited. I can't mm. wait. It'll be so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so thank you, Chloe. Um, we will definitely have you back on. And uh, for our listeners, go subscribe to Project Chloe. Subscribe to her Instagram and her Subscribe YouTube channel. Subscribe to her Instagram, yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, whatever. Just follow, follow her on Instagram <laughs> and then subscribe to the YouTube channel when and it TikTok. comes. And TikTok. And TikTok. Um, <laughs> and yeah, subscribe to us on YouTube. Oh, you've... Um, that's it from us. Yeah, thank Chloe, you so stay much on the listening. line, but we're going to end the recording now. So, bye guys.